Okay, gamers and gamettes, what is going on? My name is Tanek127, and welcome back to another video. And guys, in today's video, I want to talk to y'all about Neverness to Everness. <laughs> yeah. God, I love that name. We're going to talk about that name here in a second. However, if you want to stay up to date on all things Neverness to Everness, especially the console version, that's right, console version, I said console. Make sure you are liking today's video and subscribing to the channel if you are new, and let's go ahead and get on into today's topic. So, the first question you guys are probably going to wonder if you know if you've been hearing about this game lately and seeing it on your radar is is it coming to console well i have great news for you the footage in the background is actually the playstation 5 trailer for nte aka neverness to everness and i gotta say right off the bat my first turn on when it comes to this game is its cheesy name <laughs> and i mean that you know why because that just that that's a sign of you know fun you know of just fun to be had it's not taking itself crazy seriously or, or or anything or anything like that you know you can do cheesy things and you know just and and have good intentions behind it everything doesn't have to be all you know serious and edgy and and and, and shit like that so when, when i first got the email from perfect world you know telling me to check this game out and, and stuff like that and i saw the name that, that was a big turn on for me. You know, like, let me know how you guys feel about that in the in the comments. That may sound wild, but I, I'm serious, man. It's just, you know, it, it reminds me of a simpler and hap happy time, you know, when video games were just simple. But, neverness to everness, let's talk about it. So, what is it? You've probably been hearing buzz and rumors for probably the past year or two now that Tower of Fantasy was working on a Tower of Fantasy 2. That, you know, Hoda Studio and Perfect World... They were working on like a sequel to it. They were making another game, making another MMO and stuff like that. A lot of content creators have been reporting about this for a while. And this is that game. <laughs> so what Neverness to Everness is, is a, um, a supernatural urban open world RPG. And I love how they describe that. And when you take a look at the gameplay and stuff of it, it just gives me, because of its anime aesthetic, it gives me like a Bleach vibe immediately now i'm not saying you know the game like looks like bleacher anything like that but it just you know it kind of reminds me of that theme you know going around as as different heroes you know fighting um fighting the the supernatural hollows and stuff like that being part of the spirit realms and everything that whole theme with bleach was really cool and that seems to be you know the kind of narrative that they're going with with this game so once i saw that and i took a look at the gameplay trailer by the way i'll be leaving that down in the video description for you guys to check out for yourselves because that thing is almost 15 minutes long. So if you want gameplay, they got tons of it. They they were not shy about that. And I give them props for that. Show gameplay right out the gate. Don't tease us. There's a little bit of gameplay here in the in the trailer, but it's mostly C CGI stuff and, and stuff like that. But they have a whole like 15 minute gameplay video that you can just watch, no talking, you don't got to listen to me or any other creative ramble and stuff like that. Like I said, in the video description below. And guys, this, this game couldn't have me any more excited. Now, from what I was looking at, I can't really tell, you know, if it's an MMO, like on Tower of Fantasy's level or, or anything like that. But I'm going to assume there's, you know, at least like multiplayer functionality and and those kind of those kind of things. Now, if you obviously can't tell, you know, because of the previous game they made and how the game is at first glance with the characters and stuff like that, it's a gotcha game. So, you know, just <laughs> just just throwing that throwing that out there. There are going to be gotcha elements to it and, and everything. I'm sure, you know, if you if you know Tower of Fantasy, if you've played Tower of Fantasy, you were probably aware of this and, and expecting this. But let's go let's see what Hoda Studio had to say about this. And I really like the approach that they're taking to this, as long as they stick to it, because I think they have something special. Here, but let's go ahead and talk about it. It goes to say, developed by Hoda Studio, the Tower of Fantasy dev team, and published by Perfect World Games globally, our vision for this game is to create an immersive and dynamic urban open world filled with interactive narrative and gameplay. They also put in here, and I don't get these in a lot of press emails, okay? I do not get this in, in a lot of emails. They were specifically asking for feedback, and not to mention even on Twitter, after showing their first trailer, they were asking for feedback on what players felt, you know, already and stuff like that. They wanted people to just, you know, give them their honest thoughts and opinions on the gameplay that they saw. And I like this approach 
They showed a trailer. They showed gameplay at the same time. They said, yo, what do y'all think? Let us have it. Let's work together. If they stick with this approach, this game could be very successful. This game could go and rival, you know, big games like Genshin Impact and stuff like that because fan feedback is an important thing. And not to mention the community manager for this game. I um I personally, you know, know him from um from working with him on Tower Fantasy for for um, PlayStation. Is a really good dude. He's really good at taking feedback and and stuff like that. Probably didn't get too much of a chance to, you know, when it came to the console version of Tower of Fantasy because you know T Tower of Fantasy console came pretty late in the game's life cycle. You know, I'm not saying the game's ending or, or anything like that, but I'm assuming their focus is probably going to be a bit more on an on a newer game. If you know that, that makes sense to to a lot of you guys, but um, he's really good at taking feedback, and as long as they stick to this. Listen to the fans, you know, and stuff like that. And, of course, you know, us degenerate waifu wanting knuckleheads. <laughs> all right. They're, they're going to they're gonna succeed. All right. I have a lot of confidence in the approach that they're taking with this game. But at the same time, you know, time's going to tell what, um, what happens. If anyone from the dev team happens to watch this video, you guys are doing an, an amazing job so far. Just listen to the players. All right, I'm talking everything down from combat to gotcha drop rates, everything. All right, okay. We love our waifus, okay. We, we're, I'm not going to lie. People are going to tell you that they don't want them crazily difficult to obtain. But I'm telling you, if you want your game to succeed and Fortnite, good God, let it be the world's biggest example. Please, just listen to your players. That's the only feedback I got to give to the dev the dev team right now the gameplay trailer I, I watched i thought it looked awesome you know the game looks real clean unreal engine 5 the biggest question i had was the game coming to console the community manager answered that for me and playstation answered that for me this morning so i'm hype nonetheless can't wait let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments below but anyway y'all enjoyed today's video smash that like button i will see y'all on the next one peace out have a good one